Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Jet engines are complex machines that require a lot of research and development to improve their efficiency, performance, and environmental impact. Collaboration between companies can lead to an improvement in R&D methods and better design programs. This is the case with GE Aviation and Safran, two leading engine manufacturers that announced the launch of the revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines program. A collaborative initiative aimed at developing advanced technologies for next-generation single-aisle jet engines. The RISE program is focused on developing a suite of disruptive technologies, including composite fan blades, heat-resistant metal alloys, ceramic matrix composites, hybrid electric capability, and additive manufacturing to achieve a 20% reduction in fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions compared to the most efficient engines currently in service. The CFM RISE engine open fan architecture eliminates the traditional nacelle and core, allowing for more efficient air intake and a smaller overall engine footprint. Safran has been developing the open rotor technology since 2008 and has successfully completed multiple tests on a demonstrator engine. The tests have shown that the open rotor design can achieve a significant reduction in fuel consumption and emissions. The start of ground tests on the open air test rig in east southern France showed that the open fan design allows for more efficient air intake and a smaller overall engine footprint. Continuing with more tests, Safran is developing the open rotor technology with the aim of bringing it to market in the mid-2030s. The CFM International Leap 1A is a high-bypass turbofan engine designed for new-generation single-aisle passenger jets and the first engine in the Leap family, successor to the CFM 56. It is optimized to burn fuel more efficiently and reduce emissions using several technologies, including a lean pre-mixed combustion system and a dual annular combustor system. Building a LEAP engine is a complex and intricate process that involves a global network of suppliers and manufacturing facilities. Ceramic matrix composites have been incorporated into the LEAP engine to enhance its performance and durability. CMCs are made from ceramic fibers embedded in a ceramic matrix, offering several advantages over traditional metallic materials, including lightweight and corrosion resistance properties. Aircraft engine uh performance is always improved when you develop better materials that are capable of much higher temperatures. CMCs are the next generation beyond metallic alloys that we've been using and improving for the last 20 or 30 years. CMC stands for Ceramic Matrix Composites. GE's material system so capable for aircraft engines is we've added fibers which are smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Thousands of these fibers into this ceramic material which gives it great durability. Developed by the Atlanta-based company Hermius, the Camara Turbo Ram jet engine represents a significant advancement in hypersonic propulsion technology. It is a turbine-based combined cycle engine, which means it combines elements of both a turbojet and a ramjet. 
This hybrid design allows for versatility in operation, making it suitable for a range of flight profiles. At low speeds, Chimera operates as a conventional turbojet engine. The engine's compressor compresses the air, which is then mixed with fuel and ignited. The hot gases expand through the turbine, driving the compressor and producing thrust. As a ramjet, it does not rely on a compressor before combustion. Instead, it uses the forward motion of the aircraft to compress incoming air, highly efficient at high speeds. TBCC engines can reduce fuel consumption by up to 50% compared to turbojet engines at Mach 5 and can be quieter than turbojet engines at high speeds. Its ability to switch between turbojet and ramjet modes is crucial for its first aircraft, quarter horse, which can take off from a standard runway and then accelerate to high Mach speeds, enabling it to operate efficiently in various flight regiments. Hermius has already successfully demonstrated a proof of concept engine and is currently working on developing a full-scale engine. Space Engine Systems is a Canadian company involved in the development and testing of advanced propulsion technologies, specifically ramjet engines, with a focus on multi-fuel capabilities, including hydrogen. This versatility is a significant asset, as it allows for adaptability in different aerospace applications and mission profiles. Several test facilities for testing its ramjet engines include an anechoic chamber, high altitude chamber, shockwave generator, and in-flight testing. During the testing, SES has observed the formation of supersonic diamonds. These visual indicators likely represent the successful achievement of supersonic speeds, specifically reaching Mach 5. Supersonic diamond patterns can appear when shockwaves interact with the engine's exhaust flow, indicating the rapid acceleration of the ramjet-powered vehicle. As Space Engine Systems continues to develop its ramjet engines, it will need to conduct increasingly sophisticated testing to ensure that they meet the demands of hypersonic flight. The company is investing in developing new test facilities and technologies to meet these demands. This could have a major impact on the aerospace industry, as hypersonic vehicles could be used for a variety of applications, including passenger transportation, military reconnaissance, and cargo delivery. Rolls-Royce has been a pioneer in jet engine technology since the early days of aviation. In the years since, Rolls-Royce has developed a range of highly successful jet engines, including the Avon, Trent, and Trent XWB engines, which are all used on various aircraft. The Rolls-Royce Pearl series of turbofan engines is manufactured in a complex and sophisticated process that involves a global network of suppliers and manufacturing facilities. The Pearl engine's components are manufactured using a variety of advanced manufacturing techniques, including casting to create complex metal parts 
such as the engine's turbine blades and compressor discs, forging for strong, lightweight metal parts, such as the engine's shaft, and additive manufacturing processes well suited for manufacturing pearl engine parts made from ceramic matrix composites. These parts are extremely difficult to manufacture using traditional methods. At the assembly facilities, the components are assembled into the engine's various sub-assemblies, such as the compressor, combustor, and turbine. This process is intended to be as manual as possible with the help of skilled mechanics. Once the engine is assembled, it undergoes a rigorous testing program to ensure that it meets all of its performance and durability requirements. The PER program has been one of our first NPIs in quite a while, and it's always a very tense, proud, and challenging moment to receive a new OEM product after approval from the experimental team handed over for, for first build. That is always a very challenging and exciting moment for us. Rolls-Royce has developed a unique hollow titanium wide cord fan blade that is lighter stronger, and more efficient than traditional fan blades. The hollow design allows for more efficient use of material, while the wide cord design provides more airflow and thrust. The three main titanium pieces of the blade are made using a process called super plastic forming which uses a preform and a die to shape the blade into its final form. Once the three pieces have been formed, they are joined together using a process called diffusion bonding that allows for the production of strong, leak-tight joints between dissimilar materials. After the blades have been joined together, they are subjected to a process called ballooning and hollowing. This process involves using a high-pressure gas to inflate the blade, which creates a hollow center. The Mechanical Test Operation Center at Rolls-Royce Deutschland is a state-of-the-art facility that conducts a wide range of tests on jet engine components. Fatigue life testing is used to assess the durability of jet engine components under cycle loading conditions. It is critical to ensure the components can withstand the stresses and strains they will experience during normal operation. Spinning testing is used to assess the behavior of jet engine components under high rotational speeds, resisting centrifugal forces. Mechanical testing is used to measure the strength, stiffness, and other mechanical properties of jet engine components. Jet engines have come a long way since their invention, but there is still much room for advancement. Future research and prototypes aim to improve the efficiency, reliability, and environmental impact of jet engines. By continuing to innovate, Engineers can improve the performance of jet engines and make them more sustainable for the future of aviation. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. 
See you next time.